Okay. What's for dinner? Beef. That's what's for dinner. I think what I'm going to do tonight is make up... Ordinarily, I would cook this whole roast, but Lee's not here. She's watching the grandkids. So I think what I'm going to do is, with my newly resharpened blade here, I've gone ahead and hit it with the file again. This is about four pounds of meat. I am going to take some of it and slice it very thinly and have it with some gravy over some rice, and I'm going to have some... Uh, Food line green beans. Mm. Gonna cook that up with uh, some garlic and some uh, and boil it in some water for about you know it takes about half an hour to an hour to really get those softened up. So <clears throat> I've got plenty of time. So I think I will just choose. That looks like like about right there. It looks like it's, and watch this knife, because I just resharpened it, and I am not putting any pressure on that at all. I'm just running that back and forth very gently, because I don't like to cut myself. And look at that, look how well that slices. That's amazing. Now, it only lasts for one session, but hey, like I'm saying, this is some, you know, it's supposed to, it is stainless, I guess, but it was made in China. And you know, it's, uh, <laughs> This is a, this just using a file is just a great way improves the performance of your blade. Doesn't take very long to do every time you use it. So now I'm going to take anyway enough of that. I'm going to take this, the rest of this, and I'm going to cut it right here, just to show you how awesomely this cuts. I mean, I, I literally, I am only putting enough pressure on this to to press down just a tad just to put a little bit of weight on it this is really a good looking piece of meat and then I think I will take this and cut it in half so this is a pretty expensive piece of meat uh, uh, you know from my point of view eighteen dollars but that's four fifty a meal so that's not too bad so I'm going to go ahead and vacuum seal up these other three pieces, probably freeze a couple of them and leave one of them in the fridge for over the weekend. Yeah, like I said, the hamburger the other day, it's still in good shape. Probably the hamburger tomorrow night. I'll probably make probably make more spaghetti, because I love spaghetti. But anyway, I just wanted to show that to you. Uh, just how well that knife cuts. And um, you know, when I get done with uh, cooking my meal, because this is pretty straightforward. I mean, I'm going to cut, I'm going to slice, uh, excuse me, get this out of the way. I'm going to slice this up into like, you know, like eighth of an inch, quarter inch slices. And then I'm just going to uh, fry them up in a pan. Not too much though, just enough to get them brown. And then I'm going to uh, put them in a, in a saucepan with the gravy and uh, let that simmer and I might make some rice to go along with I probably will just you know just for a little bit of filler or maybe some noodles I don't know we'll see anyway we'll be back after a bit just thought I'd show you the handiwork there about a quarter inch and maybe a little bit more I'm similar to three eighths but look at that and keep in mind this is raw beef this is not something that you cut with a butter knife I mean you know most of the time if you if you get some uh, advice cutting meat, <clears throat> oftentimes you'll be advised to let it freeze up a little bit to get it stiff enough for your knife to cut. So, yeah, I know, I'm just, I just think I'm smart. Anyway. anyway, here is what's going in the refrigerator, or the freeze. this is going in the freezer. Vacuum sealed. We have a vacuum sealer thingy. I don't know, you know, how much of a vacuum it pulls. I mean, I don't see any I don't see any air gaps, so I think, you know, this would last a long time. Definitely stops freezer burn, because, you know, what causes freezer burn? Uh, air. So I'll put these in the fridge. So, you know, we've got, <clears throat> between cutting out the extra pieces from the chicken, 
the other night, I, I don't think I did a video on that, but when we get the legs and quarters, I always cut out the big meaty part uh, for chicken, for, you know, soup and whatever. So, looks like I'm about ready to cook. Alrighty. We'll be back in a little bit. Yeah, here's what I got going on. Change of plans. Had some mushrooms, had some onions, had some extra virgin olive oil. Frying these up. I don't know what you call it when you make spaghetti with chuck steak, but that's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, this is gonna, this is, yeah, here we go, see what I do. This is gonna be good stuff. All right. Oh, and there we have the finished product. Pasta, chuck steak, and tomato sauce with onions and mushrooms. Oh, get that out of there. So I'm going to go enjoy some dinner now, and I will be posting this soon. If you have any questions or comments, please do so in the section below. Like and subscribe. We really do appreciate it when you do. And we will see you on the next one.